okay so i was not recording all i did was do a slip layer and now i'm coming in with my larger bead and i'm going to walk it down the nail and then i like to pull back any extra and pull forward and then flip it upside down we're going to repeat this process here and I like to do that slip layer, come in with the bigger bead and I like to go in kind of windshield wiper motions. That way most of the gel sticks to the middle where it will be thinner on the outside. passion from Madame Glam. This yellow that I don't know how to say from Madame Glam. I mix those two to make the orange. I'm taking Lucky Bamboo, Fresh Water, and Ugly Ducklings number one. Okay, starting off with the red, and then we're gonna go in with the orange that I made. And I like to do super thin layers. These are very pigmented colors. So I like to keep it super thin. And then I wipe off any extras that I have on my brush for when I like to fan it together. So I find just doing more strokes the better. So switch your colors back and forth and don't be afraid to let it play. Now the good thing is, is that we come in with a second layer. So your first layer does not have to be perfect, but it's definitely easier if it looks pretty decent on the first layer. So again, just switching colors back and forth to mix that middle. And I just wipe it on my desk because I have a glass um, tile on my desk, but have a wipe or something that you can wipe off your gel onto if you have too much on your brush. So we are going to repeat this process. Again, the brush for the orange because I mixed this yellow and red. Ironically, I got this beautiful orange from Nail Addict and it would have been perfect for this, but I literally finished filming this right before it came. But it's okay, it's okay, we made it work. second layer now this one I think I try to keep it even thinner if possible obviously with the orange it's a little bit harder because it's with a brush but you can see me wiping the brush off constantly and literally all you're doing is 
pulling up and down so the colors will mix. You want to use colors that are obviously going to be complementary to each other. So rainbow order, they mix so well. But if you're taking like a, a black to white, it's definitely going to be harder. So make sure you can blend it into the color next to it and it'll do most of the hard work for you. Okay, we're taking crystal from light elegance and I am going to put this over now if you are not happy with your blend this could be a way to disguise it as well or some chunky glitter I liked my blend um, keep in mind no one's gonna be this close to your nails so they're not going to be able to see if it's not a hundred percent perfect again I was okay with it but I love glitter so you guys know I had to add some glitter but I wanted the blend and then the colors under underneath to show so that's why I kind of went through a translucent multicolored glitter now coming in with our top coat and then we will fully cure Thank you guys so much for watching go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye